Now, your eyewitness weather forecast. All right, what's going on in central New York? Uh, it is a chilly night. Could be some patchy light frost, mainly for the coldest uh, countryside locations. Also, the chance of some uh, fog developing as we go uh, through the overnight uh, as well. So here's a look at the latest uh, fall foliage report from the I Love uh, New York uh, website. So Adirondacks near and just past peak here locally, uh, starting to see some of that uh, more vibrant color, still a little dull, but you get down towards the Binghamton area, uh, down uh, towards the Roscoe Diner. If you've never been, I recommend it. Uh, Southern Tier Expressway, those areas uh, near peak color. Outside right now, it is cooling off and we are down into the mid 40s. Uh, I think numbers by the morning are gonna end up somewhere in the mid 30s. Here's what to expect. Not all that bad Friday uh, should be dry from start to finish. Then we got this rain situation for the weekend. Uh, we're right on the edge of this uh, storm. Uh, the heaviest of the rain, based on what I'm seeing tonight, is going to be south. So if you live south of the throughway, south of five and 20, that's probably uh, the highest likelihood for some steady, consistent rain as we get into uh, the weekend. Have a look at the numbers tonight, cooling off into the 40s uh, here in Utica and Rome, low 40s at Paris, uh, low and mid 40s into uh, Herkimer County and Otsego County as well, 42 right now in Cooperstown. We shift the view to the north, look at the Adirondacks here, these numbers dropping into the 30s, so it's going to be a frosty cold morning up that way. We did have a couple of sprinkles earlier, but as you can see out there tonight, the sky is clear. We want to go out a little bit wider because it's very active across the contiguous United States. This moisture down to the south is actually the remnants of a hurricane that made landfall in Mexico of all places. Uh, and basically what we're watching here tonight is this area low pressure out over the uh, central plain states, by the way, snowing pretty good out in the Rocky Mountains. This low has been with us the past several days, but what's going to happen is, is we're going to watch this area low pressure work its way across uh, the country, and that should arrive here by the weekend. But remember that storm system off to the north of us, it's actually going to help to deflect most of the moisture to the south. So this low coming through will go into central Pennsylvania, and that's where the biggest or the greatest lift, the greatest rising motion is, is near the center of that low pressure. In turn, that's where the heaviest of rain will be. So you can see we're right on the edge, like I said. You get down into central Pennsylvania, that's where the steady, consistent rain will be, and we're just going to be kind of on the northern edge of some light rain at times here as we go into Saturday. Tomorrow for you on a Friday, it's dry. Temperatures will make it into the upper 50s with a mixture of clouds and sunshine. Areas south, mid 50s, Edmiston, Cooperstown, Oneonta in the upper 50s, and north in the Adirondacks, pretty good day here. Uh, temperatures should make it into the low and mid 50s to right around 60 at uh, Herkimer. All right, back here tonight for you. So it uh, is going to cool off pretty quick, already doing so, mainly clear to partly cloudy, chilly, some patchy fog. Maybe a bit, little bit of light patchy frost, especially those sheltered areas, coldest countryside where the wind can become light. Then tomorrow it's clouds and sun, pleasant for the afternoon, breezy, high of 58. Steadiest rain south Saturday, probably not much, if any at all, north of the thruway. Isolated shower Sunday, a few showers linger into Monday and Tuesday, and by midweek, Jamie, uh, drier, milder too, with temperatures in the 60s. Craig, I'm glad to hear things are looking up for us. Sun is on its way back. Yeah, and it's going to be a great day tomorrow, but it's yeah. all about location Saturday. South is where it will rain. Tomorrow's a good tease for the middle of next week, you right? You got it. All right, Craig, thank you. Next after this break, the search for a House speaker continues, and now House Republicans are starting over. Their nominee backed out.